All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another Gmod Five Nights at Freddy's review video. And we are back on the Gmod FNAF bundle pack, and we are going to be checking out the newest update to the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. And this update is mainly focused on Five Nights at Freddy's Four, but we do also have a lot of other goodies to check out in today's video. Now, before we do hop into it, I've been I've been given a little secret about the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. Apparently, something huge is coming in October, so we're going to be getting a special special update for the Gmod FNAF bundle pack in October. Now, if you guys do want me to check out that update whenever it does come out, make sure to leave a like on this video. That lets me know that you guys want to see more of the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. Also, subscribe. That way you won't miss the next time I upload. But anyways, enough yapping. Let's go ahead and hop straight into today's review video. And again, like always, if you guys do want to check out the Gmod FNAF bundle pack for yourself, it will be linked in the description below. So right off the bat, the first section we're going to go over is Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and we got a ton of brand new Nightmare Ragdolls to check out. So first of all, we got the Nightmare Endoskeleton. Listen, with all these Five Nights at Freddy sections, it's only fair that we start off with the Endo Bindo. So this is the Nightmare Endoskeleton, which a lot of people do like to call him Endo 04, but this is the Nightmare Endoskeleton. This is the Endoskeleton inside all of the Nightmare animatronics. And honestly, this Endoskeleton has always been super creepy to me, because if you look very closely, especially at his stomach, you can see like his wires and stuff actually kind of look like flesh, kind of very similar to how Springtrap's flesh is, tangled up in his endoskeleton. It looks like this guy has like metal flash tangled up inside of his endoskeleton. So that's one thing that's always kind of disturbed me about the Nightmare endoskeletons. And also one fan favorite theory out there is that Nightmare had a brain, but it's mainly the endoskeleton head. But if you do look kind of closely, the endoskeleton head does kind of represent a bit of a brain. So it does feel a bit more realistic and I guess adds more to the whole Nightmare vibes of these Nightmare animatronics being more realistic than being animatronic. So uh, yeah, this guy is pretty creepy. So anyways, this is the Nightmare Endoskeleton. As you can see right off the bat, he spawns in with Nightmare Freddy's eyes. So he has the same eyes as Nightmare Freddy, the beautiful orange slash brownish eyes. But the cool things about the Endoskeletons in the Gmod FNAF bundle pack is that you can customize them. So if you wanted this Endoskeleton to have the same eyes as Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy, uh, you can actually customize the eyes. So here we go, the eyes, we have Freddy's eyes, we have Bonnie's eyes. We have a Bonnie's eyes fixed, which we'll get onto that why there's two different eyes whenever we check out Nightmare Bonnie. We have the Chica eyes, which only Chica has one red eye and her other eye is grayed out. Then we have Foxy's eyes. We have a Nightmare Fredbear's eyes, which is basically Nightmare Chica's eyes if she had both eyes, but with a uh, little black pupil, which an interesting fact is that Nightmare Foxy and Nightmare Fredbear slash Nightmare have black pupils where the other Nightmares only have the white pupils. So they have like these black pupils in their eyes. And I think Nightmare Foxy, yeah, his eyes are also kind of similar to Nightmare Freddy's, but they are a bit brighter. We got Fredbear. We have the alternate version of Fredbear's eyes where the eyes are yellow, which we'll get onto that later on. We have the teaser Fredbear. So uh, this is based off of the eyes from Fredbear from the uh, FNAF 4 teaser, even though we never get to see his eyes, but it's kind of assumed that his eyes would be purple. Again, we're going to get onto this later. I know these eyes right here aren't making much sense, but we'll get onto them later. We have the dark eyes, and then we have empty eyes. So he has no eyes, or the eyes are just solid black. So there's all the different eye combinations. Anyways, we got some customization. So we have the accessories. So we have a Nightmare Freddy's hat. We have a Nightmare Fredbear's hat, Nightmare's hat, and we also have Nightmare Chica's hair. We then have the different ears. So we have empty ears, the bunny ears, Years, the foxy ears and then the Fredbear ears so it's kind of interesting that there is no uh, Freddy ears uh, but to be fair, Nightmare Freddy's ears are pretty damaged. And I believe Nightmare Freddy, yeah, Nightmare Freddy only has like these two little endoskeleton spikes for his ears. So his ears actually don't have like a proper ear endoskeleton. So that's why there's no regular bear ears. But there is the uh, Fredbear, uh, the Fredbear ears. So at least we get some type of bear ears. Anyways, uh, let's see. Next up we have is that you can remove his eyelids if you want. We have his hands. So if you wanted to base him off of Nightmare Foxy, we can give him Nightmare Foxy's hook. We can also equip Nightmare Foxy. Freddy's bow tie. Uh, we have Freddy's bow tie without the wires. So yeah, that's a fun fact is that the nightmares, um, their bow ties actually have wires dangling from the bow tie. So uh, there is two different versions. There's the bow tie with the wires and then the bow tie without the wires. And same thing with Nightmare Bonnie's bow tie. And actually it looks like Nightmare Bonnie's bow tie is slightly bigger than Nightmare Freddy's bow tie. So that's a, that's a fun little fact right there with the bow ties. Anyways, we have the heart that you can toggle on and off. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like the whole endoskeleton flash, which I guess it's classified as a heart right here. So yeah, again, that's so creepy that these Nightmare endoskeletons have that detail when you're not really going to see that at all. I mean, you can kind 
can't see it, but it's like completely covered up. It's really hard to spot that endoskeleton heart right there. So yes, Indo Bindos, we do have hearts, believe it or not. We have feelings too, you know? So uh, that's not creepy whatsoever. Anyways, we have the feet. So we have the default feet for like Freddy and Bonnie, but we can actually switch his feet for Chica and a Foxy. So this switches up the toes. So we got like the spiky toes and then we got like the separated toes for Chica's feet where Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie just have the four regular toes. So that's kind of cool how we can have some customized feet and then nightmare fredbear and nightmare have the same feet as nightmare freddy and nightmare bonnie anyways we got the endo skeleton head so for the endoskeleton head we have the regular head which is basically for nightmare freddy and nightmare bonnie uh we have the endo head for chica nightmare chica's endoskeleton head and we also apparently have an ultimate cuss knight ver version so the ultimate cuss knight version gets rid of the extra endoskeleton jaw that the uh, chica endoskeleton has and then we have the foxy endoskeleton head which this thing the foxy endoskeleton head always looks so goofy to me it's just because it's just like a giant fox now but then there's like no bottom jaw that connects up to it perfectly so i always find that funny and then we also have a foxy fixed version so this actually connects the head properly to the actual endoskeleton but normally it looks like this but then we have the fixed version where it actually has an extra joint where it connects the jaws together and then we can just remove his head which that is completely cursed and then the final thing we can do is we can give this guy a tongue if we really want to and that's pretty much everything to the nightmare endoskeleton so we actually have one more endoskeleton to check out and that is endo plush so endo plush originally comes from fnaf world which is after fnaf 4 but basically endo plush is the endoskeleton for plush trap in fnaf world so this is basically what endo plush would look like if he was in five nights at freddy's four and i can actually go ahead and spawn in the original endo plush from fnaf world so uh let's see endo plush here yeah so yeah this is endo plush right here so uh this is basically adventure endo plush and then we have fnaf 4 endo plush yeah i'm gonna say i like his adventure form better because he's a lot cuter this guy is just very creepy and very disturbing so anyways this is the endoskeleton for plush trap and again since it's based off of the endoskeleton we saw from fnaf world he has that same green button in the center of his chest that the endo plush has from fnaf world but anyways for plush traps endo skeleton right here well let's actually check out the body group so we have the eyes so we have a plush traps regular eyes we have the dark eyes and then empty eyes we can remove the eyelids we can toggle the button on and off because again the button is kind of something unique to the endoskeletons in fnaf world because for an example is endo one endo one in fnaf world has a red button on his chest but as you guys know in five nights at freddy's the endoskeleton doesn't actually have a red button so if you don't like the green button you can toggle it on and off right there we have the endo ears which is plush drops ears so you can toggle those on and off and we can also toggle the endo head on and off as well so honestly this is a, uh, a character i was not expecting to see get added to the gmod fnaf bundle pack for five nights at freddy's four but it is kind of cool to see uh, what endo plush would look like if he was actually in fnaf 4 instead of fnaf world so that's pretty cool next up we have is nightmare freddy so with nightmare freddy right here for his body groups basically you can remove all of his different animatronic parts to reveal the endoskeleton underneath uh again he has the eyes where you can switch them to a solid black texture or you can replace them where they are completely empty so you can do that with all the nightmare animatronics in this pack again like how i mentioned when we were checking out the nightmare endoskeleton for his bow tie uh by default his bow tie has wires coming out of it which if you again if you want you can make it so the wires from the bow tie disappear or you could just remove his bow tie if you really want to we have a different version of the pelvis so this is pelvis fix which basically gets rid of this one little floating piece of material so by default in fnaf 4 this is actually how the pelvis is but this actually fixes it because that doesn't make any sense why is there just a piece of, of fabric floating right there so if it if you want it to be more realistic and a bit more accurate then you can get the pelvis um fixed but if you want to actually be based off of fnaf 4 how we actually see nightmare freddy you can leave it like that so that's a tiny little tiny little detail right there anyways what else do we got we have the torso being fixed as well which i'm assuming this is probably going to do the same thing as the pelvis so if we do torso fix this kind of fixes up all of the wires coming from nightmare freddy's torso so if we get a nice little quick little look as you can see yeah see the wire is just clipping through the fabric right here by default so if we actually fix the torso we can actually have the wires come in from underneath the suit instead of just popping out of the suit out of like nowhere just instead of like it phasing through the suit it actually kind of pops out through like one of the tears and stuff like see this wire right here is just chilling on the outside of nightmare freddy and again i'm pretty sure that's how it is in five nights at freddy's four by default so if you wanted that small little detail to be 
fix. Honestly, that's something that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but again, if you wanted that fixed, boom, you can just go ahead and select torso fixed. Anyways, the final thing we have for Nightmare Freddy in his unique body groups is the endoskeleton head. So by default, I'm pretty sure this is like with all the Nightmare endoskeletons here, is that basically their endoskeleton jaws are disconnected from the endoskeleton head. So that way it actually connects up to their suit jaw. So if you wanted Nightmare Freddy's endoskeleton head to actually be connected to the endoskeleton head, we can go ahead and select the fixed endoskeleton head. And this actually connects the endoskeleton jaw to the actual endoskeleton head head instead of it just chilling in nightmare freddy's jaw right there so again another small little detail right there honestly i do like the look of the endoskeleton jaw just chilling in nightmare freddy's jaw i like the look of that better than this but again at the same time it's kind of nice if you wanted like nightmare freddy's head to like open up or something that way you can actually see the endoskeleton jaw is connected properly to the endoskeleton head anyways we got the skins for nightmare freddy so another cool thing with these nightmare animatronics with their eyes they will glow up in the dark so if you wanted to you could select them to skin one and this will actually make it so the eyes don't glow up in the dark but anyways we have a skin two which just removes the pupils so earlier we were talking about how we can make the entire eye a solid black but this skin right here makes only the pupils black so it's like nightmare freddy's been deactivated but you can still see the outline of his eyes anyways we have skin three skin four and skin five so again skin three skin four skin five do the same thing with the eyes however it just changes nightmare freddy's textures right here so as you can see his textures kind of change right there between skin zero and skin three anyways that's pretty much all the main features to nightmare freddy in the gmod fnaf bundle pack and one last thing i want to say about nightmare freddy this is just something i really appreciate with nightmare freddy something we don't really see with any other freddy fazbears in finance at freddy's is the one thing i really like about nightmare freddy is that his hat has a withered effect and that there's wires coming out of his hat because this is the i believe this is the only freddy in five nights at freddy's that has a withered hat so i really like that feature with nightmare freddy so that's just one of my favorite things about nightmare freddy right there is his withered hat anyways before we move on to nightmare bonnie we have the three different freddles so in fnaf 4 three freddles will pop up on your bed and yes each freddle is slightly different so they have basically the same base model but they all have a different withering so here is freddle one freddle two and freddle three so again it's mainly the withering that is different so also only freddle two has a bow tie the other two freddles don't have a bow tie so only freddle number two has a bow tie but freddle, freddle two is missing a suit piece on his leg freddle one is missing a suit piece on his arm freddle three has all of his suit pieces on his limbs however he has a huge chunk missing from his torso freddle two is missing the side of his face yeah freddle two's head is really really withered and then freddle one has like a bit of a, like a tear withered underneath his eye connecting to his teeth which causes his teeth to float right there so uh again that's something that you're only going to notice if you look super closely at the freddles that is bottom is that his top teeth are floating right there because they are connected to absolutely nothing right there um but anyways for the freddles we do have some body groups and some skins for them so obviously with the body groups you can go ahead and completely take off their suit parts to reveal the freddle endoskeleton we have the alternate torso where there is the torso with no wires we have the mask where the mask is actually fixed again this is for the teeth so just like how i pointed out how there's these teeth that are floating if you want it to be a bit more accurate this is what freddle would look like if his teeth were actually gone so this is what he should actually look like which honestly he looks a bit more goofier like that so um but honestly i do i do like how there is these fixed versions where it makes it more accurate where you don't have these random floating bits of the animatronics like out of nowhere anyways we have the eyes so we can have it so the eyes glow so by default there's a shine effect for the eyes but then we have them as a solid black eyes we have eyes dark where it removes the pupils and then we have empty eyes so there's no eyes whatsoever uh let's see what else do we have here i'm pretty sure that's it to the freddles body groups right there and i'm pretty sure the body groups is going to be the exact same for the other two freddles right here yeah i'm not seeing anything you and but it does look like freddle one is the only one that has that mask fix okay well freddle two also has mask fixed as well so what does this do so by default is there anything floating oh i see it so right here on the side of his uh face where his face is ripped off there's these top two teeth that aren't connected to anything so if we have the fixed mask it'll just remove those two floating teeth right there oh okay i didn't even notice that so yeah so only the first two freddles have the mask fix option and then freddle three he doesn't need his mask fixed yippee i don't have any i don't have 
have any broken teeth. I got all my teeth in check. None of them are going to fall out easily. Anyways, we have the skins for the Freddle. So again, the skins are going to be the same for all three Freddles. We're just going to view them on Freddle 1 right here. So we have skin 0. Skin 1 basically removes it so that way the eyes won't glow up in the dark. But by default with skin 0, they will glow up in the dark. Skin 2 actually switches his texture. Um, And then we also have skin 4, which also switches the texture as well. And then skin 3 and skin 5 are the switch textures with the deactivated eyes. Uh, so it looks like skin 2 is basically the alternate texture that Nightmare Freddy has over here with his skin 3. So if you wanted Nightmare Freddy's texture to be swapped, you can go ahead and have that same texture match up with the Freddle. So basically, honestly, in my opinion, it just makes them look a little bit more red. It makes them have like a bit of a slightly reddish tint to them with that first alternate skin. And then we have skin 4 where they are completely completely faded out which i'm trying to remember what these freddles are based off of okay i think i know what this final skin of the freddle is trying to reference because nightmare freddy doesn't have like this um this faded out skin that the freddles have right here and i'm pretty sure this is a reference to help wanted yeah so if you guys remember with five nights at freddy's help wanted when it first came out we had the freddles make an appearance in the freddy hard mode level but then nightmare freddy obviously got added to help wanted later on in the curse of dreadbear dlc so that's when nightmare freddy got added but the freddles were added first before nightmare freddy got introduced to the game so nightmare freddy has a darker color but the freddles in fnaf help wanted have a lighter texture to them so i'm pretty sure that's what this alternate texture right here is referencing to is like basically what the freddles kind of look like in help wanted so basically if the freddles from help wanted got converted back into their fnaf 4 style so it's basically the completely pale version of the freddle right here so he's uh he's less of a darker brown and more of a lighter brown instead right there and also the endoskeleton heads are just solid black instead of them having like the regular endoskeleton head right there so again i'm pretty sure that's what that's referencing to is the freddles from finance at freddy's help wanted but anyways that's everything to the freddles so we are now going to move on to nightmare bonnie and something you may or may not notice with nightmare bonnie is if you look very closely at his beautiful beautiful eyes right here one of his eyes is off and that is how it is in five nights at freddy's four and that has bothered me for so so long is that nightmare bonnie's eye his left eye is just not centered his pupils not centered to his eye so it makes him look so so goofy but that is how nightmare bonnie is in five nights at freddy's four so this is why with this endoskeleton over here there's two versions of nightmare bonnie's eyes is because we can actually fix his eye in this pack right here so we can go ahead and fix his eye and oh oh that looks so much better that looks so much better listen i know earlier i was like hey you know having the uh fixed versions of the freddle mask honestly by default having those flowing teeth they don't really bother me too much but nightmare bonnie's eye just not being centered is crazy yo it's kind of insane on how many different errors there are with the fnaf 4 nightmare animatronics again it's something you don't really get to see too much because the only time you really get to see the nightmare animatronics is whenever they jump scare you um so uh that's a cool little detail right there but anyways again we have the dark eyes and then the empty eyes i'm gonna leave him on the fixed eyes because i like those way better than his default broken eyes uh let's see here we have the torso which can be fixed so again i'm pretty sure this is gonna be like nightmare freddy and basically have it so the wires aren't popping outside of the fabric and actually have it come from underneath the fabric yeah you can see it right there yeah so that's the torso being fixed and then we have the pelvis fixed so again this is probably just going to remove any floating pieces of the pelvis right here so yeah you can see there's a little piece right there above his thigh that is floating from his pelvis so we turn it on and off yeah you can see that it removes that floating piece right there and then we also have the endoskeleton head so this is just like nightmare freddy's endoskeleton head where it actually corrects the endoskeleton head so basically with nightmare bonnie it's not just the endoskeleton jaw that's moved down it's like the whole endoskeleton jaw so both the top and bottom endoskeleton jaw are pushed down for nightmare bonnie so this actually pushes it back up so it actually properly connects to the endoskeleton head but again i i do like it by default but again the only time where i feel like that would be useful is if you have nightmare bonnie's mask get opened up to reveal his endoskeleton head and then another thing we have speaking of nightmare bonnie's mask is that there is a version of nightmare bonnie without his whiskers so nightmare bonnie a cool thing about nightmare bonnie is this is this is the first time we saw a bonnie in five nights at freddy's have whiskers like obviously since fnaf 4 there's characters like glitch trap and vanny that have whiskers so nightmare bonnie was the first time we saw a character with whiskers but if you don't like like them you can toggle them on and off right here 
with the mask toggle. And again, like Nightmare Freddy, we have the bow tie with and without wires. Again, I really do like the bow tie with wires. And again, it's something I completely forget with the Nightmare animatronics is that they actually have wires coming out of their bow ties. So that is another cool little detail right there. But again, just like Nightmare Freddy, you can toggle that on and off. So anyways, we got Nightmare Bonnie's skins. So uh, skin one makes it so his eyes don't glow in the dark. Skin two, dark pupils. Then we have skin three, which is an alternate version of his textures. So by default, you have a bit of a dark blue. And then we have a light blue version of Nightmare Bonnie's outer texture right there so that's basically what those two textures change and then obviously skin four and skin five alternate the eyes for that brand new texture so i gotta say between skin zero and skin three i do like skin zero way better than skin three but if you want to have a lighter version of nightmare bonnie then you have that option right there next up we have is nightmare chica and nightmare cupcake so by default whenever you spawn in nightmare chica she will not be holding the cupcake but you can actually toggle the nightmare cupcake with the cupcake toggle right here and also sometimes I want to point out really quickly before we actually go into the details of Nightmare Chica is for Nightmare Cupcake. Currently, the only way you can get Nightmare Cupcake is by doing that toggle with Nightmare Chica. So unfortunately, there's not a character prop for Nightmare Chica here where you can actually spawn in Nightmare Cupcake on his own like you can with the cupcakes from the other FNAF games because with FNAF 1, you can spawn Cupcake on his own, but you can't do that with Nightmare Cupcake yet. I'm assuming probably in the next major update, they will probably add Nightmare Cupcake as his own character ragdoll prop. That way, whenever you spawn him in, he will also be able to open up his mouth and close it like cupcake from five nights at freddy's one so hopefully in the next update we actually do get that nightmare cupcake character prop also one other thing i just want to mention really quickly this has nothing to do with fnaf 4 but another character prop i really want them to add is bonnie's guitar because for fnaf 1 all the characters have character props except bonnie there's no guitar for bonnie in fnaf 1 but in fnaf 2 there is the character props for toy bonnie's guitars so where the heck is fnaf 1 bonnie's guitar come on we need the bonnie guitar prop but anyways for for the things that are unique with Nightmare Chica is that you can toggle her hair on and off. We have the eyes, which can be switched out like we've seen with everything else. We have the endoskeleton head, the ultimate custom night version. So this gets rid of the extra jaw. So one thing a lot of people like with Nightmare Chica in FNAF 4 is that she basically has three jaws. She has her main jaw and then she has two endoskeleton jaws. But in ultimate custom night, she only has the one endoskeleton jaw. So if you wanted her to be based off of FNAF 4 or ultimate custom night, you have those two options. But honestly, I like Nightmare Chica having the three different jaws because that makes her unique from the other nightmare animatronics anyways we also have a fixed option for her left foot so i'm guessing there yeah see there's a floating piece on her foot right here so that just removes the little floating piece right there oh that's a big floating piece right there i didn't even notice that yeah that whole piece right there is completely floating so again if you want it to be more realistic you can remove it or if you want it to be actually accurate to the nightmare animatronics from fnaf 4 you can leave it floating right there so there's a fixed option for her foot we can toggle her bib on and off which she looks she he looks so weird without the bib give the bib back and i'm pretty sure that's all the main body groups to nightmare chica and again obviously like the other nightmares you can remove all the different suit parts but i believe that's all the main unique body groups right there so anyways let's go ahead and check out her skins so the skins is basically for her eyes so we have skin one where the eyes glow in the dark skin two it makes it so the eyes don't glow in the dark and then her final skin makes her pupils solid black and it looks like the skin is not applied to nightmare cupcake right there so that's pretty much everything i have to say about nightmare chica so next up we're going to move on to a nightmare foxy and there's actually two versions of nightmare foxy in this ragdoll pack there is the regular nightmare foxy and then there's the nightmare foxy with a tongue so when finance and freddy's 4 was coming out the nightmare foxy teaser has a tongue but nightmare foxy in the game actually doesn't have a tongue so the only time we ever see nightmare foxy with a tongue is in the teaser showing off nightmare foxy but later on scott revealed he removed the tongue because it kind of get, gets in the way and makes nightmare foxy not look as scary as he normally does for his jump scare without the tongue so i gotta agree the tongue does actually make nightmare foxy look a little goofy but again i do like the tongue because just like i said with nightmare chica it does make nightmare foxy more unique from the other nightmare animatronics because this is the first time we ever see an animatronic with an animatronic tongue right here so again there's two versions of the nightmare foxy ragdoll and this is because there is the regular nightmare foxy without the tongue and you can actually give him the tongue but it'll actually be in a stiffy mode position 
or you can spawn in a nightmare foxy ragdoll where the tongue itself actually has some ragdoll physics so you can actually move the tongue with the physics gun and actually is more realistic so i do like this version of nightmare foxy with the tongue so guys let me know in the comments down below do you guys prefer nightmare foxy with the tongue or without the tongue honestly i don't really know which one i prefer i do like the tongue because again it does make him unique but it does also make him look a little goofy at the same time so i have no idea which one i prefer but i do i do like the option of able to spawn him in with a tongue or without the tongue so so anyways, I guess we're going to check out Nightmare Foxy's unique body groups. And again, this will also be applied to the Nightmare Foxy with the tongue. The, these are just the two different ragdolls you can spawn in for Nightmare Foxy. So for his body groups, we have the eyes, which is just like everyone else. And let's see, is there anything really unique with him? We have the fixed endoskeleton head. So this is kind of like the endoskeleton head we saw over there while we were checking out the endo. So this basically connects up the endoskeleton head properly to the rest of the, um, the endoskeleton. Yeah, you can see right there, it just basically adds in that extra endoskeleton piece. So that way the jaws are actually properly connected right there. And I think other than that, that's pretty much everything unique about nightmare foxy again you can remove his hook since he has a hook and we have the skins which is very very similar to nightmare chica where you can have it so they don't glow in the dark and then you can have the solid black pupils but obviously since nightmare foxy is one of the rare characters that actually has black pupils in his eyes the black pupils will actually stay there if the animatronic eye pupils are blacked out yeah i know this is confusing there's too many layers of the eyeball right there um so that honestly that looks kind of creepy he looks kind of creepy like that i don't really i don't know how i feel about that that's honestly kind of creepy um but yeah this guy doesn't have any fixed pieces on him that needs to be fixed apart from his endoskeleton head so that's basically everything i have to say about nightmare foxy so we're now gonna move on to nightmare fredbear was it me did i cause the bite i don't know bro did you yes how could you nightmare fredbear anyways nightmare fredbear right here honestly nightmare fredbear is one of my favorite nightmare animatronics i don't know which if i had to say one of these nightmare animatronics is my favorite i might go with nightmare foxy honestly might go with nightmare foxy i think nightmare foxy but then nightmare fredbear is definitely up there between nightmare fredbear and nightmare i don't know they're both kind of cool in their own ways but i really do like nightmare fredbear anyways let's uh let's stop getting distracted and let's actually dive into the body groups so with nightmare fredbear right here we can switch out the eyes right here so we have his regular eyes then we have the alt eyes so this basically switches his eyes from being red to yellow we have the eyes teaser the eyes dark and then eyes empty which we're gonna we're gonna get back to the eyes here in a second we have the torso right here so this will switch up the torso so we have the torso with no tubes so basically by default there are these tubes floating inside of his torso so if you don't want the these random tubes floating inside you can remove them we have the torso with no teeth and then we have the torso with no teeth and no tubes so he looks his stomach looks pretty empty now but this is what nightmare fredbear would look like with all without all that extra stuff inside his stomach right there um and then we have his torso completely removed right there so it looks like that's the main feature right there is that he has some customizations for his torso but anyways we have some different skins of nightmare fredbear but but before we check out those skins there is an accurate size version of nightmare fredbear because apparently nightmare fredbear is way bigger than the other nightmare animatronics and honestly you can kind of see it with nightmare fredbear being in a hallway in comparison to nightmare bonnie or nightmare chica standing in a hallway nightmare and nightmare fredbear are huge in comparison to the other nightmare animatronics so if you wanted nightmare fredbear to be his accurate size from fnaf 4 in comparison to the other nightmare animatronic ragdolls this is how big he would normally be but honestly i do like this regular size nightmare fredbear where it's the same height as the other nightmare animatronic so i quickly want to point out that there is this optional accurate size version of nightmare fredbear that you can spawn in so anyways with the skins for nightmare fredbear there's actually some presets for them so uh, first of all the first preset we have is this one right here this version of nightmare fredbear and this guy is super cursed so as you can see this version of nightmare fredbear uses the yellow eyes and he basically has nightmare freddy's or freddy's texture applied to him so again this is another thing referencing to a five nights at freddy's help wanted obviously we never see this guy in fnaf help wanted but one of the early trailers for fnaf help wanted when they first showed off the nightmare fredbear level is this is what nightmare fredbear looked like it obviously this is him in his fnaf 4 model but basically these textures were applied to the uh, 
Nightmare Fredbear model from Help Wanted. And basically what people pretty much came to a quick conclusion on why he looked like this in the trailer is because obviously it's when Nightmare Fredbear was first added to Help Wanted. And basically somebody from Steel Wool, obviously Help Wanted is Steel Wool's first game. Obviously someone from Steel Wool saw Nightmare Fredbear and be like, hey, wait a minute. Isn't the bear from Five Nights at Freddy's supposed to be brown? Let me go ahead and fix those textures up. So this is why Nightmare Fredbear has these Freddy textures. And this is the only time we see them, which I like to give them the name of Nightmare Freddy Bear. That's what I like to call this version of Nightmare Fredbear. Uh, basically, it's Nightmare Fredbear, but with Freddy's textures. So it's basically Nightmare Fredbear, but he's brown. He's got the black bow tie and the black hat instead of it being purple. And he also has yellow eyes, which is kind of random because that's something we don't see Nightmare Freddy have. But this guy has the yellow eyes instead of the red eyes right there. So uh, this is basically, th that's basically it to this guy. That's the main changes with him. Um, and again, you can select the skin right here and the skin options. And again, you'll have to change the eyes manually and the eye toggles right here. But again, that is why there is some presets with the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. So the next one we have is one of my favorites, Nightmare Gray Bear statue thing. So this version of Nightmare Fredbear is basically gray and black or basically light gray and dark gray. As you can see, he keeps the purple hat and the purple bow tie, but his eyes change from red to purple. And the only time we see this is when we actually got teased for Nightmare Fredbear because the only thing that it showed the color for was the hat and the bow tie. Everything else was black and white. So it kind of hid the fact that Nightmare Fredbear was going to be a golden character. So basically in that teaser from FNAF 4, it only showed it. Basically, I'm pretty sure the teaser only showed up to like his jaw right here. So this is basically all we got to see in the teaser. So honestly, we don't know if this guy was going to have purple eyes or red eyes. Obviously, he's going to have red eyes because this is, was an edited version of Nightmare Fredbear just for the teaser but honestly i like this version of him having the uh, purple eyes but if you wanted him to have the regular red eyes like nightmare fredbear does have you can go ahead and switch the eyes right there but i do like this guy having the purple eyes so my boy nightmare gray bear statue thing is back anyways that's all i really got to say about this version of nightmare fredbear oh yeah also one more thing with the nightmare freddy bear that we were talking about earlier there is another variation of his texture being swapped kind of like how we had with nightmare freddy over here how we had his texture get kind of swapped up basically how a light and reflects on him and also again the texture itself does change so we have an alternate version of the texture for nightmare freddy bear over here so uh, that's pretty cool but anyways that's it for the different variations of nightmare fredbear so next up we're moving on to nightmare spring bonnie so this is a character that isn't in fnaf 4 but obviously when fnaf 4 came out and people saw nightmare fredbear they instantly people were like oh my gosh what would nightmare spring bonnie look like if spring bonnie was in fnaf 4 and this is basically what a possibility of what spring bonnie could look like if he showed up as a nightmare animatronic in five nights at freddy's 4 so he's got sharp toes sharp fingers he's got the same teeth stomach that nightmare fredbear has and he also has whiskers like nightmare bonnie and he also has the three ear piece like plush trap and nightmare bonnie but obviously he's missing one of his ears because this is nightmare spring bonnie so it's kind of symbolizing spring traps and spring trap is a withered version of spring bonnie so that's why he has a missing ear he's got the good old purple eyes kind of referencing that he is possessed by purple guy and he also has a classic purple bow tie on because again it's a it's, it's it's nightmare spring bonnie gotta be rocking the purple so it's pretty cool to see what spring bonnie would look like as a nightmare animatronic and just like nightmare fredbear there is also an accurate size version of him so that way he can be the same height as nightmare fredbear from five nights at freddy's four so anyways let's go ahead and dive into this guy's body groups really quickly so for the body groups uh again you can remove all the different suit parts we have the alternate versions of the eyes we have a tongue so you can actually give this guy a, a tongue so if we actually zoom into this guy's mouth right here and that way oh he actually does have a, a second secondary endoskeleton jaw inside his mouth so that's kind of cool so we can give this guy a tongue so he has the same tongue as nightmare foxy right there let's see what else can we give this guy i saw a knife option so you can actually give this guy a knife oh that's not creepy a nightmare animatronics coming coming at you with a knife yo nightmare spring bonnie i don't i don't think you need the knife you already have a ton of sharp objects all over your body i don't i don't think you need a knife right there 
Uh, we have the bow tie. So again, his bow tie is just like Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie's bow tie where it has some wires coming from it. So again, you can remove the bow tie wires right there. And we also have the endoskeleton head where it can actually be connected. Because yeah, if we zoom inside of his of his head right here, you can see like the endoskeleton head is completely disconnected in here. So let's go ahead and toggle the fixed endoskeleton head. So this basically adds in some extra beams that connect the endoskeleton head together. And the final thing we have is this guy's skins. So you have the regular eyes that glow in the dark then we have it so the eyes don't glow in the dark and then surprisingly there's not a skin too where he has the black pupils that basically all the other characters have and also i just realized nightmare fredbear doesn't have those extra optional skins for the eyes changing because since he has the eye toggles over here so he actually doesn't have that option to switch that right there so i just realized that with nightmare fredbear so who knows maybe in a future update we'll get those options for nightmare fredbear and nightmare spring bonnie but other than that that's all i really have to say about nightmare spring bonnie so again it's really cool seeing some custom characters get added to the gmod fnaf bundle pack because again obviously nightmare spring bonnie is not in finance at freddy's 4 so it's kind of cool seeing these extra characters get added in so anyways next up we have is nightmare the main nightmare animatronic from finance at freddy's 4 because you know he's nightmare so obviously nightmare is basically a retextured version of nightmare fredbear so basically he is black <laughs> I knew he was black! And he has a yellow hat and a bow tie. So with Nightmare over here, I'm assuming his body groups are going to be pretty much the exact same as Nightmare Fredbear. We have the different eyes that you can give him. Uh, we have the alt eyes. So we can't actually give this guy the purple eyes that the uh, teaser Nightmare Fredbear over here has. But we can actually give him the yellow eyes. And oh, that's why. That's why. I was wondering where the yellow eyes came from. Like, obviously, it's applied to this guy. But that's right, because Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear, or mainly Nightmare Fredbear, from from help wanted he has yellow eyes in help wanted instead of the red eyes he normally has oh that's why and then that's why this guy has the yellow eyes because he's based off of the uh because he's a retextured version of fredbear from help wanted and fredbear from help wanted has the yellow eyes that's why his eyes are yellow that makes sense sorry my my two brain cells just connected right there so if you wanted nightmare and nightmare fredbear to have the yellow eyes like you see them with in five nights at freddy's help wanted you can toggle those on which honestly those look kind of cool but i do gotta say the red does suit them way way better but again it's kind of cool seeing them with yellow eyes it's kind of weird with nightmare since he has a yellow hat and a yellow bow tie seeing him with yellow eyes is a little weird so i I do like the uh again i gotta go with the red but it, again it is kind of really cool having that option right there if you wanted him to be kind of based off of the help wanted version which obviously nightmare isn't in help wanted but he is based off of nightmare fredbear so again having that yellow eye option right there is kind of cool to have but anyways we have the regular eye option we have the torso which is the exact same toggles as nightmare fredbear where it's like the no tubes and the no teeth and then we have the different skins for nightmare so nightmare actually has some unique skins right here so uh, first of all we have the regular nightmare so basically his texture is completely solid like nightmare fredbear however we have some alternate versions so we have a skin one where his texture is actually transparent and this is actually how we see a nightmare in five nights at freddy's four so this is what nightmare normally looks like in fnaf 4 where his texture is completely transparent but honestly i gotta go with the solid texture of nightmare i just really like that um but again it is really cool having this transparent version of nightmare and again this is the whole thing i was talking about earlier with the endoskeleton being like oh my gosh going back to the theory that nightmare had a brain is because of this version of nightmare where he's actually transparent where you can actually kind of see the endoskeleton head in there and at first glance everyone's like oh my gosh he has a brain but it's actually the endoskeleton head so again it, it does still look like a brain though so i gotta give it that so anyways there's that transparent texture and then we have skin two where it's actually kind of a mix between skin zero and skin one where it's kind of like half of both so he's transparent but it's basically a transparent version of skin zero so that's basically what skin two is and again just like nightmare fredbear there is also an accurate size version of nightmare included in this pack so that's all i really got to say about nightmare honestly i got it oh i don't know which one i like more i i do like skin two better than skin one because skin one does look kind of solid to me so i don't know which one i like more skin zero or skin two and i also i do believe with skin two this is actually based off of nightmare from ultimate custom night because i'm pretty sure this is how nightmare looks like in ultimate custom night and then this is what nightmare looks like in five nights at freddy's four which i believe he actually kind of switches between like a solid version and a transparent version 
in FNAF 4, but he's definitely transparent in FNAF 4. But again, I'm pretty sure this version right here where you can actually kind of like see his original material showing up is from Ultimate Custom Night. Anyway, since Nightmare is basically an alternate version of Nightmare Fredbear, we have an alternate version of Nightmare Spring Bonnie, and that is Night Terror. So basically, this is Nightmare Spring Bonnie, but he has the same Nightmare treatment applied to him. So he's basically a dark gray slash blackish character. And instead of having the purple bow tie, he has a yellow bow bow tie and actually on this guy it's a bit more faded the bow tie is more faded than nightmares bow tie so that's kind of cool and also this guy is a bit more of a grayish color than a blackish color so anyways this guy has the same red eyes that nightmare has unlike spring bonnie over here which he is rocking the purple eyes and with this guy it's basically just a retextured version of spring bonnie so uh let's go ahead and check out the body groups which again i'm assuming the body groups are going to be the exact same as nightmare spring bonnie yes yes they are so we have these skins and the same skins are just like nightmare skins so we have the regular solid skin we have the transparent skin basically basically what he would look like if he was in fnaf 4 and then we have the ultimate custom night texture skin which is a combination of both right there so again i do really like skin 2 how it is transparent but still keeps basically the frame and the textures of skin skin zero somewhat seeable instead of completely transparent like skin one so i do really like the skin 2 option right there and that's all i really have to say about night terror right there so basically just an alternate texture to nightmare spring bonnie over here but this guy is his own character or ragdoll so that way you can customize his skins just like you can with nightmare and again there is also the accurate size version of him like nightmare nightmare spring bonnie and nightmare fredbear so these are the only four ragdolls in the pack that have a accurate size applied to them as an extra ragdoll thrown in and now it's time for us to move on to the final ragdoll from five nights at freddy's four mr plush trap so we checked out plush traps endoskeleton way earlier so now it's time we actually check out plush trap himself which i really like plush trap plush trap is a pretty simple character so plush trap he's rocking the three earpiece which all the nightmare bunnies have he has the solid eyes which i think that's kind of cool with plush trap because like all these nightmare animatronics have like these high sci-fi eyes right here and they have like these detailed pupils and irises but we, meanwhile plush trap is just nice and simple just white and black you know nice and simple nice and simple like that so anyways with plush trap right here uh we can go ahead and remove all the different parts of his suit to reveal his endoskeleton which we saw earlier and then we can switch out the eyes for solid black or empty and this guy doesn't have any skin so honestly there's not really much uh, to say about plush trap all you can really do is remove his suit and again to reveal the uh the plush endoskeleton underneath which honestly i gotta say out of the animatronic endoskeletons plush trap has the most cursed endoskeleton head because if we take off his mask this is what plush traps endoskeleton head looks like it is so cursed because the teeth are completely like flat in the back instead of them being like circled out and by circled out i mean like kind of like round like how these teeth are they're like round like this and his endoskeleton teeth are just completely like flat and also this guy has an animatronic nose bro look at that nose this dude got a nose bro his nose so big look at the look at the nostrils bro which to be fair the nightmare endoskeleton does technically have like a little nose right there but plush traps nose oh my gosh that thing is huge bro bro gonna be sniffing way too much later that's crazy so uh yeah other than that that's all i really gotta say about plush traps so there you guys go there is all of the brand new nightmare animatronics added to the five nights at freddy's four section and again like i said earlier at the start of this video there is a new update coming out to the gmod fnaf bundle pack in october which you know there's a certain holiday in october and there's a certain set of animatronics that, is, that are missing from this fnaf 4 section that that might probably will show up in the next update to the gmod fnaf bundle pack in october so if you guys do want me to check out the next update make sure to leave a like on this video so anyways that's it for the fnaf 4 section so we are now going to be moving on to the fnaf world section very quickly because there's actually a small prop update it, which is for these sizable props so i've got ahead and spawned in all of these so basically originally with the fnaf world section we already had one of each of these props so as you can see we got like four different sections of trees so originally we only had like the very small trees so basically with all these sections whatever prop is on the far right we originally had in the fnaf world 
section, but I went ahead and spawned them back in so that way we can get a little comparison with these new versions. So basically, each of these props has three extra variations added to them with this sizable update to the FNAF World section. So very quickly, we have the default FNAF World tree. We have a bigger version of the tree. We have a tall tree and then a big tall tree. We have the regular inverted tree, a big tree, a tall inverted tree, and then a big tall inverted tree. We have the snow tree, which again with those three different variations. And then we also have the inverted version of the snow tree right there. So next up we have are the different logs. So we have the regular log, big log, skinny log, big skinny log. Um, we have, what is this? Tall log, big tall log, tall skinny log, big skinny tall log. I get my words fumbled, but you know what I mean. We have these dead bushes or dead trees. So we have like regular dead tree, big dead tree, tall dead tree, tall, big tall, tree uh too many uh too many words hurt my brain cells we also have another version of the dead tree or i guess you could say they're like shrubs so we have the regular shrub big shrub tall shrub big tall shrub we have the lily pad so big lily pad bigger lily pad and huge lily pad so the lily pads actually just go up in size and i guess this is if you wanted to actually have it based off in fnaf world where your characters stand on a lily pad if you're fighting somebody in the water section so that way they can actually stand on the massive lily pad right there so it's kind of nice having these uh bigger versions anyways we got all the different shrooms um so the shrooms they have the regular size the big size the uh tall size and then the big tall size and then we have all the different colors so the mushrooms come in pink red orange green blue purple and gray and then finally we have these different rocks so we have the big rock the skinny rocks the big skinny rocks the gold right here the big gold skinny big gold and we got the uh, dark rocks basically from the halloween update so we got big rock skinny tall rock big skinny tall rock so yeah there we go yeah all these extra adjectives they hurt my small little brain cells like look at this right here this is the proper name of this final rock is rock too tall big that that hurts my name but that's the actual proper name of that prop right there so again that's all that was added to the fnaf world section again this is something new so i quickly wanted to go ahead and squeeze it on in so we are now going to be moving on to the five laps at freddy section because we had some new props get added from the five laps at freddy so these are basically different props that can be found on the different maps from five laps at freddy's so first of all we have this extra car right here which can be found on the midnight motorist map whenever you're on the highway there's a bunch of different cars driving and there is also some different skins so there is the orange car the yellow car and the blue car we then have some props from the sinkhole map so we have like a, a withered glam rock freddy statue head right there we have the freddy fazer's pizza place sign we have a arcade machine we have a desk we have a table right here a wooden table we have the fan yes guys the fan made a comeback in five laps at freddy's so listen it's not a five nights at freddy's game without a freddy nose honk and and the fan that's what makes it a five nights at freddy's game so we do have the fan now we have a caution wet floor sign we have a barrier we also have a ceiling light we got some different piles of logs so we have a regular pile of logs and then we have a big pile of logs then moving over here we have some gates so we have like a fence gate we got some different variations of a damaged gate then we have a proper fence that is actually kind of fixed but again it is still kind of old so it is kind of withered but it's in much better condition than this fence right here we have three different variations of some planks we got some lights again this will be found in the sinkhole map we have another variation of the barrier we got some rubble some more small rubble we got some damaged pizzeria walls right here we then have some different support beams and moving over here we have a nice little highway sign yo we're gonna be able to get off highway 87 with this sign and again this will be on the midnight motorist map we have a street lamp sign we have a construction barrier and a construction traffic cone we then have the railing of the highway so there's three different pieces we have the main piece and then we have the end pieces so if you were actually to set this up and then you wanted it to end right here basically you would spawn this in and then you could connect this right here and this is where the beam would actually end and then you would have this one 
on this side right there we then have some new trees added from five lights at freddy's so we have like these tall trees these thick trees we have a stump we have a stump with the axe in it we have some different variations of rocks right here we have some more rocks everybody loves rocks right we also have some stalagmites again this will be found in the sinkhole map and then finally we have some mushrooms right here and again this would also be from the sinkhole because we saw the blue mushrooms in security breach ruins so we have these mushrooms right here and that is not it for five lights at freddy's because we also have some more structures that have been added so we finally have a freddy fazbear's pizza so we can actually spawn in freddy fazbear's pizza yo let's go the pizzeria is here we also have the pizzeria sign and we also have the junior sign juniors isn't here because we actually got to see it juniors when five lives at freddy's first got added to the gmod for that bundle pack but now we actually have a sign pointing to juniors honestly that sign is better than the freddy fazbear pizza sign i'm just going to be completely honest listen if i was going down a road and there was two signs which sign i would listen to i would listen to juniors because it actually tells me which way to go oh let's go anyways we also have a house right here which i think is actually based off of fnaf 4 apparently there's like an easter egg like people have found in five laps at five laps at freddy's where there's like a secret road i believe on the first map where you can like take a road um that's kind of extended that takes you to a house that's kind of on a hill or whatever so i think this house is that house that is from that little secret right there and i think this is a reference to the fnaf 4 house but i could be wrong anyways we also have a windmill we have a lumber mill right here and then we also have a small version of it which this would be in the skybox if you guys don't know what a skybox is basically there's a skybox skybox on this map basically if we were to take this little 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 oh my gosh i just threw it i uh i forgot the skybox on this map is underneath so if we actually go under here this is actually the skybox for the map so now if we spawn in this lumber mill skybox and we put it here this is actually basically having the lumber mill in the skybox so now if i go ahead and die and look at the sign over here boom there we go we can actually see it in the distance so that little prop is meant for the skybox but obviously the flat grass map is a pretty huge skybox so normally that would be way 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 closer so you can actually see it better anyways we have this little wheel right here which would be on the side of the lumber mill which would be connected pretty much right here we have this little electricity pole and then we have some bleachers so you can see the bleachers next to the juniors location where you have a bunch of 8-bit children jumping up and down as your favorite characters drive by in their freddy fazbear go-kart so that is basically everything new added to the five laps at freddy's section and if you had to ask me what my favorite new thing added to the five laps at freddy section is is obviously a freddy fazbear's pizza as a prop and including the freddy fazbear pizza sign i love how you can actually spawn in the pizzeria as a prop that is amazing and also obviously i gotta love my boy the fan because you know it ain't fine as at freddy's without the fan so anyways next up we're going to be moving on to some five nights at freddy's book ragdolls so we have a ragdoll from tales from the pizza plex and also another ragdoll from inter from the interactive novel series that is recently coming out so first of all we have is tiger rock now i'm gonna be completely honest i have not read tales from the pizza plex and i have not read any of the finest freddy's interactive novels so i don't really know anything about these two characters right here i'm just going to be completely honest so anyways here's tiger rock he has a green and a blue eye and i think this guy yo this guy's got a cape i don't know who this guy is but honestly this guy is pretty awesome so the only thing i really know about tiger rock as a character is apparently in the tales from the pizza plek book apparently tiger rock was like connected to some type of magical tree that connects Connects everything of, of the pizza plex together so basically this guy is connected to the entire security system and the network of the pizza plex or something i, I think maybe I, i'm probably wrong or something i don't really know again you guys can actually um educate me on these two characters in the comments down below because i'd love to know more about these characters since i haven't read read books eh, who reads books not me now if you are curious this guy does not have any skins or any body groups so you can just spawn in tiger rock and that's pretty much it to him but i gotta say this guy is pretty stylish yo he's got some nice clothes on he's got his little cape yo oh yeah and then see you can see like on this little 
metal right here is the actual tree I was just talking about because like the roots are like wires that connect everything together and like tiger rock is like the main system or something um so that's pretty cool anyways next up we have is the interactive pig i believe that's what this guy's name is the in very informative pig my bad my bad bro also I, I said very interactive because it, you're from the first interactive novel right so a very informative pig hello i'm the informative pig and i'll inform you on stuff so unlike tiger rock i know absolutely nothing about this guy because this guy's book came out like at the start of august in part of celebration for finance at freddy's turning 10 years old so uh yeah i know absolutely nothing about this guy but he's like hey i got big glasses i gotta shoot you know i'm pretty cool you know hey yo wait a minute are you pig patch's dad maybe all you it's all connected together and with this guy he actually has some body groups so with him you can actually toggle different parts of him so you can remove his like arms and his legs and this guy actually has an endoskeleton what nah you can take off his suit and that feels like a violation right there yo taking uh, yo this, so he, he has a pretty simple endoskeleton right here so you can toggle it all on and off you can remove his glasses and you can also give this guy a little magic wand very similar to the wand that orville has in fnaf 6 so you can give this guy a little magical wand hokish pokish i will now grant you your greatest wish all right and your wish is going to come true <gasps> it is nope oh <laughs> This guy also has some character props, so we can spawn in his hat, we can spawn in his glasses, his bow tie, and also his little wand, and he also has this Freddy Fazbear ticket, so I believe this guy either gives out tickets or he takes tickets, I'm pretty sure this guy gives out tickets, again, I know nothing about this, so I'm just, uh, I'm just doing assumptions right here but the cool thing with these tickets is that it has the fazbear entertainment logo on it right here so uh hey kid you want to earn some tickets oh yes i do all right for my next magic trick i need you to jump off Wh what jump off don't worry you'll be okay anything for a freddy fazbear entertainment ticket all right and you're gonna use your magical powers to catch me okay let's go yippee <laughs> next up we're moving on to the joy creation section because we've had a massive prop update so obviously in not my last video but my video before that i showed off the brand new ignited animatronics that have been added to the gmod for that bundle pack which these are the models that come straight from the joy creation demo we got at the start of august but now we have the props from the joy creation demo so let's go over all the brand new props that have been added so we have two versions of the carpet right here we have some pictures right here so we have all these different picture frames right here so these are the pictures that can be found around the map in the joy creation demo we also have this little one of a dog oh look at the cute little dog oh i love that picture frame right there we got some shelves we have some proper storage shelves right here um we have a little table we got a big table we got a chair we got a plant oh if it is a plant in a potted plant we have a little trash can we have books anyways we have all these different book props so there's actually two books that you can spawn in on your own there's this first book time to die you know what i think this might be the first book i read honestly i think this might be a good story then the next book that you can spawn in by itself is the truth about religion you guys want to know what the truth is the truth is you all need to subscribe whatever your religion is even if you don't have a religion it's subscribe that's the truth all religions have one thing in common and that is that they are subscribed to x-man 723 you've heard it here first folks that is the truth right there anyways we have these different sections of books so these will be like on the bookshelves throughout the demo so we have all these different stacks of books right here and again we have a bunch of different random titles we also have again the time to die book and also the truth about religion getting thrown into this mess right here and then we also have like a pile of books so these are like some books that have fallen off of the shelves right here so we have a bunch of different variations of the book props anyways we have the computer so we have the monitor the keyboard and the mouse we we have the clock so we have the clock above the main doorway of the office and then we also have a digital a clock then we have the fuse box which is very important which honestly i love the fuse box feature in the joy creation demo so we have the fuse box which we have to have to check on so we have the closed version and then we have the open version of the fuse box 
we have the fuses that you have to find throughout the office and replace the fuses in here with it then we have the flashlight that the main character holds and we also have to put the flashlight in the fuse box in order to use the fuse box which honestly i never really understood that part honestly i know like putting in a, a, a changing the fuse out of the flashlight makes sense but having to put the flashlight in the fuse box that that hurts my little brain anyways we have some laundry yep it's time to do some pretty fast bear laundry so we have a laundry basket we have a hanging t-shirt we also have the coat hanger as its own prop we have some different folded clothing we have some folders or some binders right here so we have some different variations so we have some by itself we have some little collections that are stacked together we then have some storage containers so we have storage container one and two so we have two different variations we got a cardboard box a smaller box we just basically have a bunch of boxes here we got an open box we got a closed box we got a crate we have some a little box right there we also have a pizza box speaking of boxes we then have a painkillers box mm, i'm gonna need some of these after i see my revenue mm, gonna need some painkillers anyways we have a paint can we have some smaller paint cans and we also have like a paint bottle we have a dirty plate and some beer mm, my favorite we got a beer bottle and a beer can we have some stacks of paper we got big stack of paper small stack of paper and then we have the different sticky notes because when it, as you're playing the joy creation demo one thing i really like is that the office slowly changes over time so these sticky notes will actually start showing up on your monitors so there's five different sticky notes in total and basically we're playing as the creator which obviously it's scott cotton but it's never explicitly said it's scott that we're playing as but basically we're playing as scott a game developer and these are like sticky notes like saying like hey time to work on the game you know create dev plan plan a main mechanics develop game loop find a reason to live i mean just find a reason and make to-do list so we have those five different sticky notes next up we have some posters of the ignited animatronics that basically give you some tips and some hints on how to survive the night so first of all we have ignited freddy make the clock go round basically you have to find ignited freddy in order to make the clock go up by an hour for ignited bonnie close your eyes so don't look at ignited bonnie or else you can say goodbye to your cameras ignited foxy all eyes on me so if you see ignited foxy you actually stare at him and then ignite chica we hide you seek so you have to go and find her cupcakes and then maintain the light which is basically get the fuses to keep the lights on and then we also have a pile of sticky notes and a pile of paper and another pile of paper so that is all the props added from the joy creation demo so it's really cool seeing like all these props and actually being able to get a nice close look at all of them next up we have some more collision ragdolls added to the extra section so originally we only had the fnaf 1 ragdolls the first five ragdolls here which is indo freddy bonnie chica and foxy but now we got some new collision ragdolls which are based off of the brand new nightmare ragdolls that we got in this update so we have a ragdoll of the endoskeleton and as you can see this guy is a little weird but it's because he has nightmare bonnie's ears and also nightmare foxy's ears applied to him so these are the collisions for these ragdolls we have the endo plush nightmare freddy the freddles nightmare bonnie which nightmare bonnie's looks a little cursed because you can actually see his eyes on it and i believe that's because with nightmare bonnie over here his eyes actually pop out of the, out of his mask a lot more than the other nightmare ragdolls because yeah as you can see with like nightmare chica like she has like a overhang on her eyes so the collision ragdoll will just go ahead and connect that straight down to her beak and then same with nightmare freddy like man these guys got some big foreheads but then nightmare bonnie no his eyes are just bulging and that's why you can actually kind of see nightmare bonnie's eyes right here on the collision ragdoll and we have the collision chica collision nightmare foxy collision nightmare fredbear and then we have the accurate version of him and then we also have the collision nightmare spring bonnie big accurate collision nightmare spring bonnie and then we have collision accurate plush trap and again basically these collision ragdolls basically show off how the nightmare animatronics actually interact with the world so whatever is gray they will actually interact with the world um because if you guys don't know with some ragdolls there's some parts of them that won't interact with the world i guess the best example is if we compare the uh collision nightmare freddy ragdoll to the actual nightmare freddy ragdoll if we go ahead and spawn him in as you can see very closely like his teeth aren't counted for and also his wires aren't counted for so as you can see like this guy is lacking the wires and that is because if nightmare freddy were to lay on the floor the wires will actually go through the floor but his actual animatronic head won't go through the floor so that's basically how these collision ragdolls work and that is everything new in the most recent update to the gmod
Pokemon FNAF bundle pack. However, there is one more thing we need to go over, and that is Mr. Chipper and Sons. So, with the Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. section, we have two new characters and also a character prop, Mr. Chipper and his son, Tyke. So, originally, these guys were included in the previous update I checked out. So, I was supposed to check out these guys in my last review video on the GMO FNAF bundle pack, but I kind of forgot to spawn them in, so I kind of forgot about them. So, I'm showing them off now. So, these guys have already been in the GMO FNAF bundle pack for a good while, but I want to go ahead and show them off since I forgot to show them off in my last review video. So we got Chipper, we got Tyke, and we got Tyke's little watering can. So obviously Chipper and Sons Lumber Co., if you guys don't know what that is, it was the game that Scott made right before Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and actually inspired him to make Five Nights at Freddy's because everyone criticized Chipper and everyone was like, oh my gosh, the models look so creepy. They look like creepy animatronic puppets or whatever. And then Scott's like, you know what? Since I'm so good at making creepy animatronic puppets for, for some reason, I guess that's what I'm gonna do from now on. And then boom, he made Five Nights at Freddy's and it was a huge success. So Chipper kind of inspired Five Nights at Freddy's. So yeah, without Chipper, we would not have Freddy Fazbear. So that's kind of crazy if you stop and think about it. So anyways, these guys don't have any body groups or anything. So we got Chipper and we got Tyke. Obviously Tyke is Chipper's son. So he's gonna be smaller because he's still a little kid and he's taking over the lumber coat. So he's got his watering can. He's like, man, oh man, time to go grow some trees and make some profits. So as you can see, they both are wearing overalls. Chipper has blue overalls and Tyke has green overalls. Chipper's mouth is actually slightly open where Tyke's mouth is closed. Chipper has blue eyes, Tyke has green eyes. So yeah, Tyke's main color is green. Chipper's main color is blue. And they both have beaver tails. Obviously, since Chipper is older, his beaver tail is a lot bigger. Well, bam, well, bam, well, bam. And then we have Tyke's beaver tail right here. And then Tyke's watering can is basically just a simple green watering can with a nice little yellow sunflower on the side of it. So that's basically it to the Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. So see, that was super tiny. So I... I, again, I just completely forgot to show them off in my last video, but it is kind of cool seeing Chipper get spawned in. Yo, we need Chipper and Freddy Fazbear to finally meet. So we, oh wait, ew, that's beta Freddy. That's beta Freddy. Ew, give me the real Freddy Fazbear. I saw them stretched out cheeks. So we finally meet Chipper. Ah, Freddy Fazbear, if it isn't my arch enemy. What do you mean arch enemy? Without you, I wouldn't exist. Yeah, but everyone likes you better than me. Tyke, get him. Okay, dad. Die, Freddy Fazbear. What do you mean? Ouch, that hurt. What, what was that for? That's not going to hurt me. You foolish fool. That watering can was filled up with water and you're a robot, which means you're weak against water. That's not true. We did it, boy. We won. Yippee. Does that mean people are going to finally start playing our game? No, no, I don't think they will. Oh, man. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's review video on the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. So again, like I said at the start of this video, they're going to be having a massive update come out in October. So if you guys do want me to make another review video whenever the Gmod FNAF bundle pack gets updated again, because their next update is apparently going to be huge, make sure to leave a like on this video. That lets me know that you guys want me to continue making review videos on the Gmod FNAF bundle pack. But that's it for today. Check out the Gmod FNAF bundle pack for yourself, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Man, I still have depression.